Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is doing well. Today we're going to make a quick and simple DIY. We're going to make a quick, simple, elegant candle holder. For that you're going to need a martini glass and I got this from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need a candle holder, holder and I got this from the Dollar Tree. It's really pretty. I don't know if you can see the divots. They have like little holes in there. They also come in different colors. I like this color so I got this color. You're going to need some rhinestones. I have um, some 8mm rhinestones that I got from my local um, Dollarama. You're going to need some glue um, of some sort. I don't know. You can use um, glue or you can use Mod Podge. Either one. It doesn't matter. And you're going to need glitter. Um, I'm not sure what color this is. I think it's a copper color glitter, but it's really pretty. And I also got this at my local Dollar Tree. Um, that's something new that they just got in. So I picked up one of these um, little things. You're also going to need a paintbrush and some um, strong adhesive. I am using a clear grip Gorilla, gorilla Glue. You can also use um, hot glue if you like. Um, with that being said, I will list everything down below in the description box, but let's get started. What I'm going to do first though is my glass and I'm going to um, glitter the bottom portion I believe of my glass. And this is tacky glue. It's clear tacky glue. Um, I wanted to see if it worked as well as the um, clear um, school glue, the Elmer's. It works really well. I like I like to um, use it, especially for crushed glass. But I found that it works well for glitter also. Okay, this is the way we're looking so far. I think this is so pretty. We're going to set this to the side and let it dry for a moment and then move on to the candle holder. Okay, for the candle holder now, um, as I said, these are really pretty and they have little indentations in them. So I'm going to take my Gorilla Glue and just put a little glue in each indentation and put a rhinestone in there. Okay, I'm back with my pieces. They're all dry. I have um, sealed all of them. And now I'm just putting some um, rhinestones just right around where the glue stops at because I'm not doing a whole stem. So I'm just going to put a few rhinestones around there to kind of finish it off.
Okay, so now I'm back and I decided to go ahead and finish the rose. This was um, a little gold band and I put glitter on it and then I decided to finish the rose with the rhinestone. So now we're going to put it together, let it sit overnight and then I'll be back to let you see the finished product. going to use Gorilla Glue to do this. Okay, we're going to put some weight on this, let it sit overnight, and then I'll be back to show you the finished product. And here is the finished product. I think it came out beautifully. You notice I decided to put some rhinestones around the bottom of the glasses. Try to get you a closer look there. I think they both turned out beautifully. And if this is your first time joining me, thank you. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that bell twice so you'll be notified of any future videos that I upload. If you are a returning viewer, thank you for returning. I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that share button and that thumbs up. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you have, just leave me a little comment down below. But in the meantime, enjoy your day and I'll see you at my next DIY.